Hey everybody, this is Ted Check, Recovering Reporter. You know, the more that I think about it, the media is just, the mainstream media, the legacy media, the establishment media, it's just one big rumor monster. I think, I think that's, uh, if, if that phrase has not been coined yet, uh, you heard it here first, folks. Rumor monster. Because not only do they engage in uh, it's either either they're ignoring, either they're flat out ignoring, or they're they're just uh, perpetuating rumors intentionally uh, that show their bias against Donald Trump, or they're actually repeating rumors that uh, that seem to uh, that, that could possibly harm Donald Trump's opponent, Kamala Harris. And yes, I am going to try my best to pronounce it as Kamala. You see. I was a big fan of pro wrestling in the 80s, and that's when this uh, this one wrestler, Kamala, the Ugandan giant, was was very popular. Uh, so that's why Kamala is ingrained in my brain. But I'm going to try to say Kamala. Um, I'm going to try. So anyway, an interview came out with Janet Jackson from The Guardian. And, uh, but, but first, uh, here on Twitter, and it's trending on Twitter, Janet Jackson's reaction or her, her quotes are trending on Twitter. And this one person, uh, Tim Young, he writes, uh, Janet Jackson questioned Kamala's race and it broke the leftist media today. Ha 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 ha. So variety, Janet Jackson falsely claims Kamala Harris is quote, not black, the rap. Uh, that's rap with a W. Uh, Janet Jackson repeats false claim about Kamala Harris's, uh, The Hollywood Reporter, Yahoo, you know, ch talking about right-wing conspiracy theory, all these, all these essentially mainstream media, whether they're just, um, you know, online or, or, or elsewhere. Um, so put a pin in that and we go to the source. The source is from uh, The Guardian. The writer is Noshin Iqbal. And she includes this conversation. And generally speaking, it's it it's a that the 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 story is a feature story. But in the middle of it, there's this conversation, this back and forth that goes on between Noshin Iqbal and Janet Jackson. And so Noshin just brings up Kamala Harris. And so then Janet Jackson says, "Well, you know what they supposedly said? She's not black. That's what I heard. That she's Indian." She looks at me expectantly, perhaps assuming that I have Indian heritage. Well, she's both, I offer. That's uh, uh, Noshin Iqbal. Then Janet says, her father's white. That's what I was told. I mean, I haven't watched the news in a few days. I was told that they discovered her father was white. So, yet you have this, that she decides to put in here. Noshin Iqbal. And Noshin, I gotta, gotta call you on the carpet here. This is not true journalism. This is irresponsible. Uh, basically, what it what it amounts to is is a you know water cooler conversation. You know what I heard? You know what I heard? Ooh, let me tell you. That's what it, that's what it basically is. It's no more than that. Um, this is a theory, and some would call it a conspiracy theory, but it's a theory that is held by the opponents of Kamala Harris. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's reached a point where it's, it's, it's been featured in the news quite a bit. And uh, so I guess uh, Noshin feels it's, it's fair game to include it in her story. And Noshin, you know, it, um, it probably brought, you know, brought you and, and The Guardian a lot of notoriety. It got uh, more eyes on the product. I mean, here I am looking at it and commenting on it. But, it, 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 you know, just listen to her words. You know what they supposedly said? Um, they discovered, I was told, I was told, I was told that they discovered. Yeah, so this is just rumor. Why would you include this in a work of journalism? Uh, if Janet Jackson doesn't have any proof, <laughs> and we wouldn't expect her to, but if Janet Jackson doesn't have any proof of this, then why on earth would you be putting this stuff forward in in the story why would you be including it in the story see because when you do this what happens then it becomes a circle jerk and all these other media outlets just feed off of that uh and then and then uh the problem is so they write these headlines and and you know they and each one of these is is fairly you know popular online 
So that's a lot of eyes on this. But what you're doing here, you may not realize it, is you're perpetuating the rumor. If you really thought that there was no credence whatsoever to this rumor about that she's not black or whatever, if you really thought there's no credence to it, you wouldn't write anything about it at all. You'd leave it alone. But see, the media can't leave it alone. There's no discretion anymore in the media. There's no critical thinking. Hmm, maybe, maybe we just shouldn't do this. Maybe we have a duty. Yes, we have a duty to report the news to our readers, to our viewers. But maybe we also have a duty to be discretionary and to say, hey, wait a minute, this, it, 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 it hasn't been proven either way. And um, is it really what, uh, what is relevant today? You know, is her ethnicity relevant? Or what about the substance of what she believes versus the substance of what Donald Trump believes? Isn't that what's important? So, so why would you continue this? Um, because even though you say conspiracy theory, false claim, you say all that stuff, it gets people thinking, hmm, hmm, maybe there is some truth to this, you know, because a lot of people believe you take a conspiracy theory, you wait a few months, and boom, the conspiracy theory becomes fact. You know, it's proven to be true. So you're, all you're doing is you're, you're perpetuating it. Congrats, media. Um, where's the discretion? And then the media wonders why. Again, they wonder why. And, uh, you know, I talk about it here in my book, Saving the Beast. The media wonders why they are losing viewers. They're losing readers. They're hemorrhaging money. They're having to lay people off. They can't figure it out. Well, <laughs> it's all right here. Just look at yourself in the mirror. Okay? You're the problem. Let me know your thoughts, and I will talk to you later.